street, street poetry is my everyday. But yo, I gotta stop when you drop my weight. And street poetry is my everyday. Street, 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 street poetry is my everyday. But yo, I gotta stop when you drop my weight. Welcome to another episode of the Street Poets Show. I am your host, True, and we're coming to you from the wonderful borough of Queens. Um, I'm really excited to be bringing to you a good friend of mine, a poet, rap extraordinaire, Mr. Hollywood himself, the Marksman. What's up, Mark? What's up, True? How you doing? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. So um, let's start at the basics. Okay. Um, where did the Marksman come from? Where did we get that name from? We got that wonderful name from, now I had a screen name that was X-Man. It was kind of corny, but I put my name in front of X-Man. I've always been a comic book fan growing up, and um, I put my name in front of it and it became Marksman. And instantly as I spelled it out, I, I realized that a Marksman is a skilled, trained soldier. You have so many soldiers, but very few are, are trained in the art of accuracy and distance and taking your shot and not just going crazy, but making sure you have that shot that's correct. And I, I tried to exemplify that in my life, so it just made sense that that would be my stage name. So what sets you apart then from other, every, every other poet, rapper out there? What makes Marksman that precision artist? Right. Um, it's, it's, it's built into my DNA. Like I, I've, I've always had a passion for music. I've always felt that I can hear and feel what um, the average person couldn't with music. And I feel that uh, my passion is really over overrides everything that I do. And once you start from that passion and that, and that artistic integrity, um, you can go anywhere with it. And I've always taken that with me. So that's really what it is. So I know you do a lot of things. You've done acting. You do the poetry. You're, you're a writer. You do some promoting. What's in the works right now for you? Right now is me putting everything you just said together <laughs> and just uplifting the artistic uh, integrity, like I said, of, of uh, New York City as, as a basis, but really, I really want people to appreciate art more, um, appreciate writers more, rappers more, dancers more, painters more. I think there's just a, a huge gap in that art appreciation. I want to bring that back. So you, ha you have a lot of up and coming rappers, people who see that you've been grinding for years and they want to know, you know, what is it that makes Marksman Marksman? What is your process? You know, what sorts of things that happen behind the scenes that make you as dope as you are? Right, right. Well, thank you. Um, I, I must say I'm an observer. As a Marksman, I'm somebody who watches and I study and I get gathered the data and I collect it. And once I figure out what, what that is, I find out what the void is and you go and fill it, you know? So the, 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 the need right now I see is authenticity, it's realness. Um, there's a lot of painted faces, a lot of Indians trying to be chiefs. And I know that my talent backs me up, it backs the words up, so I can be able to really be a leader and show the next generation that you can be inspired and be original, be who you are, um, no matter what the, the stigma is, no matter what mainstream says, and do your thing and really shine. So I believe I'm that one to get that beating. I, I'll take it, I'll take the hit, so that I can represent that integrity for the next generation. So um, as an artist, you know, we go out there and we're constantly asking for people to come and support us, you know, to, to buy our product, to come to our shows, you know, to like our pages. Um, what is it that you do to give back to our community? I, I, I really like to uplift creative uh, achievements. So because I've been doing this, for such, we've been doing this such a long time, we begin to grow a, a following of people, of peers who are just into creativity. And so I really feel that part of my legacy would be not only just bringing my own self out, but bringing all those around me. You know, the DJ Mono, True, everybody. You're doing something creative, I would like to help uplift that and use that my following and my influence, whatever little that is, to spread a little love for other people. So I think that once we stop thinking this solo-minded, you know, I, I think it takes a, a real artist to really think um, more community and bring all of us up and elevate the whole craft. Well, speaking of legacy, yeah. you have a legacy to leave behind. So you're going to hit us with a piece, right? I am, I am. Absolutely. I Tell us about it. Well, I got a couple joints, you know. I'm going to hit you out with some joints. I don't want to give you too much, but we're gonna we're gonna have that segue. I'm gonna hit you with some freestyles. Um, just to get the lyrics out. I know that's what y'all wanna hear, right? So street poets, let's yeah, go. Let's do it. Let's go. Do it.
Yo, this is your boy, The Marksman. This is the Street Poet Show. We're gonna hit you with some lyrics right now. I hope you're ready for it. We're in the streets. This is Queens. I put on a suit with dress shoes. When y'all put on a suit, it's special. I'm an independent artist with the smartest means of starting things that end with an impressed you. The pressure of the press when you stretch, reach forth for the untouched torch our predecessors left, while the rest search blind for checks for self as so-called signs success. So I'm really all alone in this grind, I guess. Fine, and then why? Who has time for stress? I'm dead broke, but well connected to the best folk who won't rest till I'm blessed to be the next to get both. Pen mean records with speeds that jets go, so once you hear the last letter, the first verse is retro. Active. Pencils are petro. Must be frustrating to be led just because I said so. <laughs> so, Marksman. That was great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Mike. I appreciate that. <laughs> so let me ask you, as an MC, mm -hmm. who influenced you? And I, not just mainstream level. I mean, talking on the underground level. Like, who were some of your influences? On the underground level, we are in Queens. I shout out to my man Fire Monch, um, who has been. I kind of entered my life as a little mentor. Like he's been coming out to shows and supporting. And he's somebody who I really study his structure, his writing style. Um, that's off the top of my head. Um, but everybody from Jay to Slum Village to gospel artists I listened to as a kid, all those harmonies and melodies, everything kind of came into one, really. So, so you're going you're gonna to bless us with another one, right? No. Because one is not enough. Huh. I can do this all day long. No, we don't want you to do it all day long. We just want one more. more. Just one more. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Peace. Yo, what's up? This is the Marksman. This is a verse off of my joint, Let It Go, soon to be released. Well poised with the posture, extra noise among imposters. And when you hold an emotion, it costs you. So I'm sick. Pick from my poisons. Please, raise a glass to my posse. Please, we just passed the imposse. Bullsh, NY, stay classy. All the way to San Diego, they know. I'm looking through hell for an angel. One who lays too low for a halo. Plays no games, but the same goals. Claim with the same, okay, if you say so. For a change though, Take the day slow, increase the range, but aim for what you came for. Ordered so much wine, we can trade Joe. Threshold for pain, feel the pressure of my veins. For those who say no, what do they know? Anytime I'm in speaker, I'm the keynote. Wrote the right emotion to evoke. Easy motion to come hard, leave hope. Spring grows and fall, the leaves float. Fluid movement, fleet leader of marine boats. Believers catch little Wayne seizures. Fate will only follow procedure. Marksman. Ah! You all right? You got to flex your, your, your muscles you sure you a little bit. Again? No, I'm sure. I'm good. Thank you. This is fun. <laughs> but listen, where can people see you? Where can people find you? Where can people buy the album? Like, this is your moment. Let them know. Thank you. I am The Marksman, so you can follow me. All my social networks are at The Marksman. Um, I started a new party series called The Next Thursday that really um, unites creates creatives and, and puts um, it highlights the next in entertainment, art, fashion, um, and it, that's at Victor and Spoils, 105 Rivington, every other Thursday, first and third Thursdays. Um, you can look us up on Facebook at the, the next Thursday. So that's something that we're really trying to move forward. So um, I'm working on a new project. I'm actually announcing it here for the first time. I'm working on a new project, the part two to my mixtape called The Next Mixtape Part Two. The remixes, I'm taking some real, real classic joints and putting my own spin on it in a very creative way. You're not going to want to miss this. So uh, I'm working, I'm working hard. So well, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the Street Poets Show. Hope to see you again here next time. We don't know what borough we'll be in, but we'll be somewhere. We'll see you then. Peace.